All right, everyone, I'm back at Mom's Kitchen. Today I'm going to prepare a lovely Hungarian dish. I'm going to use bacon, smoked bacon, dry. I have some pork shoulder as well, nice little pork shoulder. Um, then I'm going to use onions, potatoes, parsley and garlic. So it's going to be a quite simple dish and some peas as well. I use frozen peas. I've got um, paprika, marjoram and black pepper and some pickled cucumbers as well. And I'm also going to use some tomato puree. To start with, I'm going to start with the bacon. So this is air dried smoked bacon. It's really nice. It's got a beautiful flavor. There is no added um, brine or anything to it. It's just dried smoked bacon. So it has a wonderful flavor. Um, so I'm going to slice the bacon and start with um, frying up the bacon. It's quite difficult to slice it as you can see. Maybe I need to sharpen my knife. Oh, I forgot oil, of course. Uh, I'm just going to add some oil as well. Then just slice everything into tiny dices. So this is going to be the base for our stew today. I could add more of the meaty bacon as well, but I've decided to use the more um, fatty bacon bits. Okay, next up is the onion. I'm going to use two onions for the main meal and I've got another onion which I'm going to use for the potatoes. Now the onions I'm just going to slice um, julienne. Alright, so this is the base for our stew. To go with the stew, I'm going to serve crushed potatoes. For the crushed potatoes, I'm just going to boil the potatoes. I'm going to fry off some onions, add some paprika and some parsley. It's real simple, very tasty. Goes really well with the stew. The pork shoulder I've sliced into strips, which is uh, the traditional way of making tokain, which is what I'm doing at the moment. So it's another traditional way of doing Hungarian stew in a different way. Just frying off everything. Lovely. As you can see, I sliced the meat quite thin, so it should cook quite rapidly. And there are some very fatty bits I didn't use. There was a bit too much, too much fat on those parts. So I've decided to keep those, well actually to throw them away. All right, the next step is going to be to prepare the onions for the potatoes. I'm going to finely chop them for this purpose.
All right, so it's time to season. Uh, I'm just adding some salt to the potatoes. And I'm adding some salt to the meat as well, not too much at this point. Adding some black pepper. And marjoram, one of my favorite. It's very similar to oregano, but much milder. And of course, paprika is a must. Not too much though, just a little paprika will do for this dish. And white wine. And at this point, I'm going to add the tomato puree as well. Well, to be honest, this tomato puree looks more like passata. It's quite runny. Mm. Uh, I'm used to, to more uh, thicker tomato puree in the UK. But it did the job anyway. And of course, don't forget about garlic either. Very important. So I'm just going to finely chop it. I'm not going to puree too much. It doesn't really matter if it's a bit rustic. So it's not super fine puree. As you can see, that just does it fine. So add it to the pork, lovely. Nice. And also in this dish is quite traditional to add uh, pickled cucumber, gherkins, whatever you call it. Not too much, but you need a bit of acidity to balance the fattiness of the pork and this is a very good way of doing it. Do a little taste test for seasoning, very important. Add a bit of um, general seasoning, all purpose seasoning if you like, just for a bit more rounder flavor. And needs a bit of water as well. And I do add some more water later on. You just want to make sure that there is enough water to cover it, to cover the meat. And of course I'm going to add some parsley as well. Nice. All right, so next up the potatoes. I've just cooked off some onions, added some parsley. And basically all I'm going to do is to break up the potatoes. I'm not mashing them completely. So you end up with small bits of potatoes. It's not completely smooth. It has a different texture, which is quite nice. 
It's a nice change from uh, mesh. And I'm just going to cook the potatoes like this for a while as well. Okay, it's time for seasoning. We are sticking with paprika, of course. Paprika goes in almost everything. Oh, and uh, of course, I have to drop off my dad to collect his car, which he had to uh, fix. So I'm just going to leave everything for now, turn everything on a low heat, drop off my dad, come back and finish the meal. Okay guys, so here is some extra footage of my day. Uh, as I said, I had to drive my dad to pick up his car and I was using my sister's Seat. Alright guys, lovely sunny day it was. Nice for a little drive around in my hometown, Balatonfüred. Love that place. I really hope I can go back one day. It's such a different vibe to the UK. Alright, back home already, that was quite quick, a little drive, I quite enjoyed it, nice, so let's get back to the kitchen and finish up this lovely meal. Alright, so potatoes are nice and soft, lovely, so it's almost like mash, but it's not exactly mash, it's crushed potatoes, I quite like them. Alright guys, so now the peas have been added. You add the peas at the point where the meat is already cooked. So as a finishing touch you just add the peas to the stew and just boil it for another minute or two. Frozen peas don't need too much cooking. And you have a lovely pork stew with peas and bacon of course. Amazing stuff. And of course, most importantly, mom likes it. I've got the approval. Amazing. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you're gonna try this recipe. Quite simple and delicious. And I shall see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.